Module 7, Blockchain Platforms Lecture 4, Overview of the Hyperledger Fabric and Polkadot Platforms In this lecture, we will cover the following topics. Support Technology Networks DApps Scaling This lecture is part of Module 7, Blockchain Platforms. With this lecture, you're going to learn how to Indicate key objectives of Hyperledger and Polkadot platforms Recognize the characteristics of the Hyperledger and Polkadot platforms Explain blockchain technology ecosystem, underlying basic algorithms, and essentials of trust in Hyperledger and Polkadot The minimum requirements for this lecture are Good understanding of general distributed ledger concepts and technology Familiarization with Ethereum-related networks, consensus mechanisms, transaction lifecycle, smart contract execution, and dApp design This is not A comparison between Hyperledger Fabric and Polkadot as two alternative blockchain ecosystems because they have rather different objectives. An ultimate list of available blockchain ecosystems because there are many more at the moment and new ones are constantly emerging. It is merely presenting two ecosystems, each designed to address specific objectives that have not been the key focus of Ethereum. Hyperledger Fabric, Non-Monetary and IoT Applications Polkadot, Interoperability Hyperledger Fabric Decentralized applications for enterprise use cases have specific requirements that are not the primary concern of permissionless public blockchain networks, such as the Ethereum network. For example, the participants must be identifiable, and network access must be permissioned, high transaction rates and low latency are needed, transactions and smart contract data must be private and confidential. The dominant blockchain platforms, example, the Ethereum network, are being adapted for enterprise use. Hyperledger Fabric, on the other hand, was designed from scratch to meet these requirements. Hyperledger Fabric is an open-source enterprise-grade permission DLT. Hyperledger was founded under the Linux Foundation. It is governed under open governance by a technical steering committee and manages various blockchain-related projects. Hyperledger Fabric is one of the most active Hyperledger projects and involves tens of participating organizations and hundreds of developers. Hyperledger Fabric is an open-source enterprise-grade permission DLT. HL Fabric is a consortium-based blockchain network. There are known, authenticated nodes and participants. It has an efficient transaction lifecycle and a simplified consensus mechanism. Very high transaction rates and low latency are possible due to the permission nature of the ledger. Channels are built atop the blockchain network for privacy and performance. It has limited access to the chain data and smart contract execution only to the participants assigned to a channel. HL Fabric enables a modular selection of components to provide blockchain services. These include pluggable membership service, providing digital identities for peers and users, including integration with the well-known LDAP or OpenID Connect. Ordering service, responsible for the consensus on the order of transactions before blocks is broadcast to the peers. Validation service, to follow the agreed transaction endorsements policies, which can be application-specific. Peer-to-peer gossip service, for block dissemination among network peers. Modularity facilitates the configuration of Hyperledger fabric to meet the needs of diverse application scenarios and use cases. 
The smart contract lifecycle in the majority of smart contract capable networks, including Ethereum, follows the order execute principle to reach SC execution finality. The consensus nodes first validate and order the transactions. Next, they distribute the ordered transactions in a newly generated block on the network to all peer nodes. Finally, the transactions are executed in parallel according to the SC rules on all the network nodes. Because the transactions and order execute systems are executed by smart contracts after the consensus, the smart contract code must be deterministic to ensure the finality of the execution. To avoid non-determinism, many DL platforms limit the smart contract programming languages to only deterministic ones, example, Solidity. HL Fabric applies a different transaction and smart contract execution lifecycle. The smart contract code in one of the nodes first executes a transaction. Next, the consensus algorithm orders the transactions. Before committing a transaction to the ledger, the results of SC execution are validated against the endorsement policy. The endorsement policy defines the validating nodes in the network and conditions for the endorsement, example, validated by three of five validators. The endorsement policy assures determinism in transaction execution. This lifecycle is therefore dubbed the execute order validate. The key benefits of execute order validate are vast network performance improvements and general purpose programming languages for chain code programming. In permissionless blockchain networks, anyone, including untrusted or malicious participants, can join the network. Therefore, a Byzantine fault tolerant consensus protocol is needed to identify and expulse malicious actors from the network. To ensure that the majority of consensus participants are benevolent, the attack costs, attack transaction fees, must exceed the economic benefits of the attack, or the attacker's stake is seized. The permission nature of the HL platform indicates that the network participants, network nodes, and users are known to each other. The participants usually have a common goal, but do not fully trust each other. Clear identification of the participants simplifies reaching the trust of the network. Apart from technical mechanisms in the network, example, legal agreements can be part of the governance model and can be applied in case of disputes. For this reason, example, the consensus algorithm can be vastly simplified and does not have to meet the Byzantine fault tolerance. Instead, HL Fabric utilizes a crash fault tolerant CFT, approach with the RAFT protocol as the principal option. But the consensus protocol is pluggable, so a module with a different protocol can be used. A simpler consensus protocol eliminates the unnecessary operation costs for running energy inefficient consensus protocols. Avoidance of a cryptocurrency further reduces some cybersecurity risks directly motivated by the possible economic benefits of the attacker. The permissionless networks share all the transactions and the smart contract execution state among all network peers. This transparent distribution is required for Byzantine fault-tolerant consensus, but it also discloses the entire history of transaction exchange and execution to anyone. Transaction confidentiality and privacy in could be enabled by transaction data encryption or zero-knowledge proofs. The two approaches are not frequently implemented in the dominant blockchain network. Permission networks offer an alternative approach to ensuring privacy. With known participants, the data can be distributed only to the concerned parties. In HL Fabric, we can organize channels residing atop the ledger. On a channel, there are only nodes and users who need to collaborate on a specific application. Some analogy can be drawn here with virtual LANs in Ethernet, subnets in IP networking, or virtual private networks. The components of Hyperledger Fabric architecture cover the functions needed for network operation and management and DAP operation. The selection of the components depends on the consortium and participating organizations. 
The selection of channels reflects the needs of the decentralized application. Peers are blockchain network nodes. In HL Fabric, there are dedicated peers for different roles in the network. Peer node, a node that maintains a copy of the ledger for each channel it is a member of. Committing peer, every peer in a channel. Anchor peer, a node or a cluster of nodes used for communications with other organizations in the consortium. It interlinks peers in different organizations. Endorsing peer, a node that can run the chain code and is marked in the endorsement policy. Orderer peer, supports the application channels with a consensus mechanism for ordering transactions, creating blocks, and committing to the chain. Leader peer, the peer that receives the transactions from the orderer and distributes them to the peers in a channel. Certification authority provides verifiable identities for the permissioned access control. Membership service provider abstracts away the details of cryptographic mechanisms. Hyperleader is governed under open governance by a technical steering committee. Hyperledger Fabric is one of the Hyperledger projects and involves tens of participating organizations and hundreds of developers. It coordinates the technology fabric technology development. There are no public HL Fabric networks, so the implementation of a network is entirely under the governance of the consortium partners. In Hyperledger Fabric, the network upgrade procedure is, therefore, rather simple. Any change or setting agreed upon by the consortium can lead to a modified or new network version. There is no need to include any external parties in these decisions. During the definition of a new network or a network upgrade, the consortium decides about the version of HL Fabric applied, the number and locations of network nodes, endorsement policy, and membership service provider. Once the network is set and running, the consortium can also decide about the channel configurations. Smart contracts are written in general-purpose programming languages instead of domain-specific ones, such as Solidity. The key benefits of Execute Order Validate are vast network performance improvements and general-purpose programming languages for chain code programming. Chain code acts as a trusted decentralized application and defines the business logic of DAP. Client applications are off-chain DAP application parts. A client applies the HL Fabric SDK or REST API to interact with the HLF blockchain network. Unlike the early blockchain platforms, where the entire functionality is implemented in one network node instance, and we only opt in slash out of some of the functions, the HL Fabric platform is modular. In this way, we can easily adapt it to a specific enterprise use case, including the modular selection of consensus, code execution validation, identity management, or peer-to-peer -peer communication protocols. Modularity, permission nature, and execute order validate chain code execution in HL Fabric allow for rapid transaction processing and low transaction confirmation latency. They are also the foundation for the privacy and confidentiality of transaction data and smart contracts. There is a dedicated performance and scaling working group in Hyperledger. Because of the modular nature of HL Fabric, application complexity, and hardware processing capably, it is challenging to compare the performance of specific HL Fabric networks. Some researchers report transaction rates in the order of 1,000 to 10.000 transactions per second. The key reason for clearly outperforming the major permissionless public network includes the in-complex consensus mechanism, execute order validate transaction lifecycle, simplified validation procedure, and smaller network size. Polkadot Polkadot in blockchain ecosystem dedicated to scalability and interoperability of blockchains. The technology suite in Polkadot is called the Project. Web3 Foundation assists and funds the development and deployment of decentralized technologies and applications. 
Polkadot is their leading project. Web3 Foundation has commissioned Parity Technologies to build Polkadot and Substrate. In Polkadot, anyone who owns DOT tokens, Polkadot native public currency, can participate in network governance. DOT holders elect council members, who represent passive holders in the governance procedures. Technical committee members have an active role in Polkadot development. Governance provides complete control over the upgrades and fixes in the network protocol. Any DOT holder can propose a protocol change, called a referendum. A referendum can be started as a publicly submitted proposal or by the council or technical committee. The DOT holders then vote on existing proposals and can veto unsafe ones. There are two public network implementations based on the Polkadot protocol, the Polkadot and the Kusama network. The Kusama network is an independent, early, unaudited, canary network based on the Polkadot protocol. Kusama can be used to test parachain solutions. Many projects deploy parachains on Kusama first and then on Polkadot. Like Polkadot, Kusama uses the substrate framework and facilitates a public crypto token. The relay chain is the core chain in Polkadot. It ensures network security, consensus, and interoperability for parachains attached to the relay chain. Parachains are shards of the Polkadot network, but run as independent blockchain networks and can have their own tokens. Bridges are special blockchains that connect the Polkadot shards with external networks, example, the Ethereum or Bitcoin network. Connecting to the relay chain is charged. Parachain connection slots are granted in parachain auctions. There are dedicated entities for different roles in the relay and parachain networks. Parachain full node, a node in a parachain with a copy of the ledger. Collator, collects transactions in a parachain and produces proofs for validators. Validator, in the relay chain, validates proofs and participates in the consensus. Nominator, an entity selecting the validators. Fisherman, node, monitoring the shard and reporting to the validator. A parachain full nodes and collators can have the role of fishermen, too. The nominators and validators stake their DOT to ensure the trustworthy and honest execution of these roles. This consensus mechanism is called nominated proof of stake and pass. Polkadot has a native public currency, the DOT token. The DOT token has several purposes. It is needed to qualify for network governance. Staking DOT incentivizes the honest behavior of validators and nominators. While DOT is staked, it is locked or bonded and is only available again to the owner after the 28-day unbonding period. The Kusama network has the KSM token with similar objectives as the DOT. The Substrate is a blockchain building framework. It is a software development kit, SDK, to build modular parachains with pluggable consensus, finality, and networking mechanism. The choice for Substrate is optional. Parachains in Polkadot don't need to be built with Substrate. You can also build a standalone blockchain with Substrate and not connect it to the Polkadot relay chain. In specialized blockchains, we can make different trade-offs to support specific features required by the decentralized application. Parachains are application-specific blockchains and can be attached to the relay chain. Each parachain is supported by a dedicated shard. Most Polkadot parachains are built with the Substrate framework. It facilitates forkless upgrades in parachains. Polkadot claims the current performance of about 1,000 transactions per second and a block time of 12 seconds. The announced changes in the protocol will allow scaling the speed up to 1 million TPS and dividing the block time to 6 seconds.
Thank you for listening to this lecture.